Hey guys, what's up? Today I've got a Viridian Room walkthrough, and it's actually the sequel to the Crimson Room. So it starts off like this. Successfully getting out of Crimson Room, you called yourself a escaper, but a person cannot escape from oneself. How would you desire? I want to face more hardships, or I want to escape again. Indeed, you still are to escape. Like, I don't I don't really get that. Uh, I think that was like a fail at uh, philosophy or something like that, but um, yeah, it's basically saying you didn't escape yet. Alright, so you start off, you turn on the light, and you're in this room. And if you look through the doorknob, you see there's the crimson room. So you came out of the crimson room, and you're back into another room. Alright, so you start off about in this direction. So to start out, just click here, lift up the shoes, take that, put the shoes down, and if you click down here, a little window frame will pop out. And you just take that, or a picture frame, sorry. And you can just lift these little sheets up to get that card okay so now when you're right here you can just click here and then click to the right to get the lighter sticks and click to the left to get a card and there's six cards in total you have to get and then open up this and you can take two pictures um actually a lot of this stuff is unnecessary but I just thought I'd just show it to you guys kinda like a completionist so you don't think you're missing anything so here you see a little blanket you lift it up and there's a skeleton right there uh... And if you see here, he has, you take this thing, I think it's like a medicine pill container. And then now see his wrist? You gotta click on his wrist three or four times and a little key will drop down right there. One, two, three, there you go, three times. And see the key down there, it just drops out of his wrist. And now you can just take the blanket by clicking on it. And this lock we'll get to in a bit. Alright, so we still have three more cards to get. Alright, so, um, open up the fridge. And now there's beer right there. You don't want to take the beer until the very end because the beer has to be cold for the, the ending to happen. So you have to leave it in the refrigerator. It's the last thing you get. But you have to lift up the meat, get a card, take the hair. Now, this is important. Click on the hair and click about item and then click try to escape. Now, you have to click on the hair and click about item in order to be able to, oh, to lift up the trash can as I'm about to do here and take the lighter like this. Okay. Next is when, when you're facing like like this, where you can just see the tip of the light bulb. Uh, the look, just try to get your view like mine. Just click around until it's like that. And you click up. Actually, never mind. Uh, different view. Sorry, guys. Okay, like this. Okay, so when your view is like this, kind of like this, this rim right here, and you see the crimson room door, the blue door, click up, and you can get two cards. One card is right here, and one card is right here. So now we have all six cards in the hair. So start out, uh, click on the hair, click about item, then click on the lighter, and then just rapidly click to use it with the hair. Just keep clicking until you see words will pop at the bottom like subtitles. Alright, there you go. What does this mean? Now you can click try to escape. Now click on the blanket, click about item, click about here, here, and here, and then click on that thing to get this. Back to try to escape. Now, uh, you click on the diary that's right here, and you use the key with it. I'm not gonna bother reading it to you guys. It's basically about a guy who commits suicide because he's a little pussy and some person ditched him riding bikes or something like that. But, um, just keep going to the very end of the journal, or the diary, whatever it is. It's ba this is basically the kid's room who killed himself or something like that, and that's his dead body on the floor. I think. You kind of have to put the piece of the puzzle together. So when you get to the very end of the book, it's important that you click on this disc to take it. Uh, I'm not sure how many pages there are. Just go slow, because if you click too many times, you just you just have to redo everything. Like, re-go through the diary to get to the little uh, CD disc. Anyway, um, the next part is the bicycle lock. So go back to the diary again. And you have to go to a certain page, and I'll show you the page. Just read the top line. And it'll say, this is the worst day of my life. My bicycle was stolen. I forgot to lock the bike. My mistake. And now, forget about the, forget about the year. Okay, it doesn't matter about the year. But April 14th. Now, April 14th, you got to change that to, like, a numerical date. That's 0414 for April 14th. If it was, like, uh, December 1st, it would be 1201. So, like, try to try to figure this out. So, April 14th, January, February, March, April. That's the fourth month. So, 04 and the 14th day, 1-4. It has to be four digits. So 0414 is the code for, for today, but every day it changes. So uh, right now I just got to go to the skeleton and put that in. And it's kind of ironic because that's the bike lock. So that's how you know the date. 04, 
one. Okay, ready? Zero, four, one, four. Just like that. Uh, it's going to be different for you. Unless, I think if you're doing this a year from now, on April 17th, then, um, yeah, you might be in luck and just have my code. Anyway, so um, now that we have everything, well, most of the stuff, anyway, uh, click on the medicine pill and click in here. And now look at the first one, the very first one. See this symbol? Locate the symbol, okay? It has a little X right there. Um, and it's this one right here. This one right here, okay? And it's the top left. Now you go here and click about item. And see how this is six? So that means uh, that this symbol in the top left, see how they're the same position as that? The top left here and the top left here. This is an X in the top left, and there it's a 6. So you know that this symbol right here is a 6. Now you go on here, and you use this symbol with a 6. And now you just have to repeat it. Now uh, go to here, and see this is a 3. So now find this one in the one with uh, Japanese letters or numbers. And it's always different. Like uh, I don't even know if these are real Japanese characters, because I've seen this 3 be a 3, and I've seen it be a 6 and a 2, because I've done this game a lot. So don't just copy what I do. Because it's going to be different every time. This could be a 5 for me. It could be a 2 for you. So it doesn't know. Anyway, so you see this one? Um, this one right here. Little three lines. Now go back to this one. And right there, it's a 3. So this is a 3. This one right here. So now you go on this thing. And now you put it in the 3. Uh, okay. Now go back to here. Uh, this little thing. Uh, that's that one right there. And that is a 4. So this is a 4. Now I go here, and I put this into the 4th. And now you go there. And this 3 is what it is. Uh, let me see. This 3 is a 1. See, it looks like a 3, kind of in English, in Arabic numbers, but uh, it's actually a 1. Uh, okay. Now go back to this one. And you look at this one, this, this little thing right there. That's that one. And uh, we go here, and it says that one is a 5. So we know this is a 5. And since this is the last one, we just put that with a 2. And then a, sp a box to put a dead person's soul in. It's a foreshadow for the ending. Okay, now we're basically pretty much done. So what we have to do is you got to go right here. Click on the CD case. Open it up. Put the CD in it. Try to escape. You don't even have to close it. Just click try to escape. Now go here. Put the CD here. I believe you don't need the picture of the person, but uh, you can just put a picture in just for the hell of it. Look at this guy's face. I, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but sure. Not my problem. All right, so we have this CD disc here. Now use these lighter sticks with the left of this. Use your lighter with the lighter sticks, and you'll get a little light right there. And now we just need one more item. And that would be the beer. And if you look in the in the diary, it foreshadows a lot of this. It says the beer has to be very chilly. So to check how cold the beer is, click about item and then click on it. And it says so chilly. If it says anything besides so chilly, keep it in the refrigerator for five minutes and try again. So you use the beer with here. And are you ready? You ready? You click. Now there's weird music and watch the skeleton. So you brought a little skeleton due to life, and then you magically float up into the air. Yeah, and if you look, there's like a little face in the sky right there. That's kind of creepy. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm also going to be doing a video. If you guys play this by yourself, you notice there's a door you can open and there's like a creepy voice. I'm going to do the video explaining what that creepy voice means if you play it backwards. So, uh, go check my channel for that one under Let's Plays, uh, the playlist. Anyway, so that's the end. Um, I'm, I'm running out of time, so I don't have time to do all this stuff. The escapers list. So anyway, uh, if this video helped you guys, please subscribe to help support my channel. Um, thank you very much, and goodbye.